Hello everybody. I hope you're as excited as I am today because we are going to paint this super adorable farmer pig riding his tractor. Okay, so what you'll need for this project today is your ceramic pig on a tractor, your paintbrush, a little cup of water to wash your brush with, and then five little pods of paint. So you would have received a red paint for our tractor, a pink paint for our pig, a silver paint, it's very light uh, for the tractor tires and the details on the tractor, some green for our grass, and some black for detail. Okay, so get, our, get all your supplies together and we're ready to go. So what we're going to start painting today first is our silver details. Okay, and if you want to get really creative with some of your silver details, um, I suggest working with some black too. Okay, so I'm going to show you how we're going to do this. It's a little different than what we've already painted before. So start with your black paint. Okay, start with your black paint. And we're going to paint, our first section that we're going to paint is this section in here. And you might think I'm crazy at first. But I want you to paint in the whole area, okay? Try to get all the little nooks and crannies. Okay, and notice how I'm going around this circle that sticks out. I wish I knew the parts of a tractor and I could tell you guys. Maybe you know someone that knows the parts of the tractor. Maybe you know the parts of the tractor. If you know what this thing is, you tell me, okay? Now I'm gonna flip it around. And we've got another little indent in here, okay? And you might be like, why are we painting all the details black? Well, I'll show you. Okay, I'll show you why we're painting them black first. They will eventually be silver, but. Okay. And don't worry if you get a little bit out of the lines or you make a little mess because we're going to put some layers over top. Okay, so you've got all of that. And notice I'm going to paint in there. Okay, next you want to paint in the holes in our rims. Okay. Four holes. Our little front tractors, they have smaller holes. The same thing, don't worry about going out of the lines at this point, okay? And we'll flip over to the other side. Okay, same thing. And these little brushes are really good for getting inside these little holes, okay? And so just let the brush do all the work. So I'm just finishing up the last tire. Notice I made a little bit of a mistake, but that doesn't matter. Okay, so we've got those details done. We will paint the tires black, but not at the moment. Okay, and then we can come up to this front area here. See all these little lines? Okay, don't worry about staying in the lines, but just paint over them with a little bit of black, okay? Sorry, it's a little blurry here. Put it down and turn it. Okay, if you guys gotta pick it up, feel free. Okay, so I'm just painting in. Okay, so notice that one's a little bit thicker than the other side doesn't really matter. Okay, we'll, we'll clean these up in a minute. Okay, now check it out. I put a little bit of paint on my pig because I had a little bit of paint on my hand. No big deal. The next thing we're going to do is we can paint our big black tires. Okay, so notice that the tires have some grass around them. Okay, so we're just going to paint the whole tire black. Okay, but we don't want to paint the rim of our tire black. So you'll see that little indent. Make sure you get all the tread 
that's the texture on the outside of the tire I've painted in okay and it, again don't stress too much if you get it in the wrong spot or you make a little mistake it's no big deal we can fix them I got a little sunshine shining in on me here so hopefully it's not too hard for you guys to see okay now all of this in here that's just random stuff from the tractor okay it's um the grass that's growing in between the tires i'm going to come in here i'm going to do this side too i find it's easier to paint one side and then flip it okay if you get a little bit of black on your grass that's okay don't worry if you get a little black on your rim that's okay don't worry the nice thing is it's not like drawing where you paint over a line and now you don't know where the line is. The texture of our tire will show us where the things need to be. Okay, so that's a rough, a rough paint job of our tires. So I'm gonna turn him so, around this time. I'm gonna just paint this side of my tire. We're looking at the back of our pig's head. Okay, I'm gonna just move this out here a little bit so you can see. Okay, so same thing. I'm gonna make sure I get all of the tire tread painted in. I would say this is the most detailed sculpture that we've painted this summer. If you guys remember, we painted a hedgehog first and then a, a nice little tropical fish. I thought this would be a fun project to finish the summer with. Okay, and I'm just going to tip this a little to get the underside of the tire. Now remember, if you're working on a table or something that shouldn't get paint on it, make sure you put something down underneath, even just a little bit of newspaper. Um, just something to protect your table so no one gets upset. Okay, so same thing, I'm gonna tip this again, just to get that into all the little areas underneath. And if I make a mistake, no big deal. Okay. Now, the last thing we're going to do with this black for now, okay, are some other tractory details. We will come back and use the black for other things. Um, but there's a couple spaces that we need to do some black stuff. So we're going to flip this. Okay. See this underside? I'm going to paint the underside of our tractor. Okay. This is all the mechanical stuff. This is like the, the drive shaft, I think that's called. I know a little thing, a little bit about mechanics, but not much. This makes the tire turn because it's connected to the engine. So the engine would be up here. Okay, so I've just painted in this. Okay. All right. All right. So the other tractory little detail we need is this steering wheel here. Okay. So it's a little bit funny to get to because it's kind of the circular thing that the pig is holding okay and if you want to leave it black you can if you want to paint it silver we'll paint it silver after but you want to make sure that you get the underside done and then you get everything in here too so that's the other side of the wheel Okay, now we will eventually paint our little piggy's feet, but we won't worry about that just yet. Okay, so what I'm going to get you to do, wash out that brush. Okay, 
dry it off and get your silver paint. I'm just gonna put the lid back on my black paint. Move that off to the side for a minute. I'm gonna get my silver paint. It may just look gray. Okay. Okay. So with this paint, we're gonna paint the rims of our tires. And we're gonna paint some of the details on our tractor so that it looks 3D. So to do this, I'm going to get lots of paint on my brush, but I'm going to wipe it off on the sides. Okay, so I don't want a whole bunch of paint on my brush, just a little. Then we're going to go back into these little areas here. Remember that I said we'd come in here. I'm going to drag my brush, but I'm not going to paint them into all the nooks and crannies, just where the brush touches. Just where the brush touches. And see how it leaves some shadowy areas? That's what we want. Okay. I'm going to flip it around the other side. I'm going to do the same thing. Just a little bit of paint, not a lot. Wipe off the edge of your brush. Okay. And then we're going to paint in here. And just to highlight, we don't want to try and paint in all the nooks and crannies with the silver. We're just dragging those things over there. Here, look. So we've got some shadowy parts in our tractor. Then you can go ahead and paint in the rims, okay? Try not to get any of this silver stuff on the black, in the black holes, okay? But that tiny brush that you've got should make this pretty easy. Okay, something like that. And I made a little mistake there, but that's easy to clean up, okay? So don't worry if you make little mistakes. Just let the paint dry and you can touch them up. Don't try and touch them up while the paint's wet. Okay, I'm gonna come around this side for a second. Okay. Same thing, I'm gonna go all the way around. paint in between here. Trying not to get the silver paint in those black holes that we painted. A little bit is okay. Okay, so something like that. Obviously you can take a little bit more time. Use the texture in the sculpture to tell you where things go. Okay. I'm gonna come over to the smaller tire. And if you have a hard time, feel free to ask for help if you need help. One of your parents or maybe an older sibling or a friend could help you fix up little areas that you don't like. All right, it's okay to ask for some help. Now, if you find that your paint is still wet, just let it dry. Just be patient. You can always pause this video if you find that I'm going too fast or Maybe the paint's not drying as fast as you'd like it to. Just take a little break. Okay, I got a little black streak in this one, so we're gonna fix that up. Here. Okay. Okay, so the last area of the silver we're gonna do for now is this front part of the tractor. Okay, and remember when we did those little indents and I said, don't fill it up. Okay, we wanna leave some things um, black and we wanna just get the top surface. We don't wanna get in the nooks and crannies. We're gonna do the same thing with these black lines on the front of the tractor. Okay. So I'm just painting around all of this first. Okay. I haven't gotten near the black paint yet, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna wipe off a little bit of my brush. 
okay? And watch, I'm gonna paint over it, but I'm not gonna try and get it into all the nooks and crannies. And you'll see, oh, see, I'm going up and down and up and down. And the texture inside those cracks is staying black. Okay. And some of it's turning a little silver, but that's okay. There. There. See? Pretty cool, huh? There. Okay, and then we're going to go around this bottom line of our tractor. Okay, and see this little space here? We can put some silver there. Okay, around this side. I'm going to go along the bottom here. Remember that circle thing? I said I didn't know what it was. We're going to paint that silver too. Maybe it's like an oil filter or a carburetor or I don't know. Those are just words I know. Those are just mechanical words I know. Okay. Then... Okay, we're going to leave the front of the tractor for a little bit. We're going to come back here to this thing. And we're just going to paint the back hitch of this trailer. Okay. And remember, if you want to paint yours a little differently, of course you can. Of course you can. Okay. Remember, don't, mean, don't forget to lift it up a little to get the underside, because it's a three-dimensional sculpture. You gotta paint from all angles, not like a painting where you just see it from one, so one direction. Okay? There. Okay. So, you're gonna let this dry, and we're gonna start with our red paint next, okay? So, pause the video, let your piggy dry. We don't want any of that black or silver to mix into our next little section. Okay, and then uh, when it's all dry, come back to the video and we can go to the next step. Okay, okay, so my pig's here. I've moved him so he wasn't in the sun so much, um, but you'll see we've got some of these nice silver areas here. We've got our tractor tires are all dry. We've got the front end of the tractor all done. And we got everything done here. Okay, so just make sure all of this paint is dry before you move on to the next step. If it's still not dry, just be patient, pause the video again, come back when it's dry. Okay, the next thing we're going to work with, a red paint. Okay, so make sure your brush is really washed. Make sure that you've got your red paint ready. And we're going to paint our tractor. Okay, so for our tractor... Okay, I'm going to start by painting up here. Now if you would like to paint your tractor a different color, by all means go for it. The only reason I chose a red, red tractor was because the green, we have green for grass. So I thought maybe having some red would be a nice combination with the pink pig and the green grass. Okay, and see I'm going around the stack. I'm not going to paint on the stack, we're going to paint that silver later. I'm going to go up. All the way up here, okay, and I'm going to paint right up against the edge of the tractor, and I'm sorry my hand's in the way, it's just kind of how it goes sometimes. There we go, I got a little bit of wet black, I'm just going to quickly brush that away, did you see it? It's gone now, but I'm okay with a little bit of it, it can kind of make a shadow if you like. If you don't like it, just let the red paint dry and put another layer on. Okay, so I'm going to go right up the top there. Okay, now we're not done with the red on this side, but I'm going to just wait a minute and flip it over and do the same thing on the other side, and then we can do some other details. Okay, so I'm going to flip this around like this. Okay, and I'm going to paint around base of that stack across the top of that little engine window 
okay up and over just like we did on the other side of our pig okay so i'm gonna turn it just a little just to make sure i can see where i'm painting okay and we're gonna go right down to the little piggy's foot okay and i have this little you can see around the corner of the tractor here on this side okay I'm going to turn it around this way again, and it has a little corner too, so I'm going to get into that corner area there. We want it to look like a finished tractor. We don't want to look like we've missed some spots, okay? So we want to make sure to paint it all. So the front of the tractor is finished. We're going to come back here, and we're going to paint the back end of the tractor. Right. Same thing. Okay. And again, I'm going to move it so I know where I'm painting. Now, there is a little seat under our piggy's bum. We're not going to paint that red. We'll paint it black, but not yet. Okay. Same thing. I'm going to come around this side. Make sure I can. Spots. Okay, and then I'm going to come back around. Awesome. Okay, so we've got the back end of our tractor. Okay, I'm gonna come in here and just underneath those little spots. So you're always looking for some of those little small pocketed areas that need some attention because nothing should be white unless we paint it white. Okay, so we've got a nice red tractor now. How cool does that look? Okay. Now I think this bottom area that I painted silver originally, I'm going to put a little layer on and you'll notice it changes the way the red looks and that's okay. If you like the way that mine looks, you can do this, but you don't have to. This is just something fun you can try. Layering colors on top of one another, especially when we're working with ceramics, is a really great way to make things look more three-dimensional, to make them more interesting to look at. I mean, if you're basing this off of um, a picture of a real tractor, you could get a lot of really cool details. Okay, there. So it's a little lighter. And like I said, we will paint this stack silver, but not right now. Okay. So I'm going to wash my brush. I'm going to put my red paint away. Okay. I hope you guys are saving your paints to use them for other things. All right. Next thing we're going to do, we've used the silver and the black. We've used the red. I'm going to use the green next, okay? And the reason we're going to use the green next is because this is only going to go around the bottom and it'll give the rest of our tractor some time to dry while we do some other things. Okay, so look at all this. We got all this green grass here. Okay, so just go ahead and paint in the green grass. Okay, and I miss a little bit of my tire, but I can come back and get that painted. Okay, so you'll notice I've got some spaces here. You can always come back, but I got some green here. Up in here, and then I'm gonna flip it.
And you can be a little bit messier with the green because grass is kind of messy. Okay. Here, because there's some green in front. Lots of grass in the front of this tire. It's like we're running the tractor right through a field or something. I wonder if this pig is a farmer. Could you imagine if the animals were the farmers instead of people? Would that be better or worse? What do you think? Okay. There. So we've got our green. Okay, I'm going to wash my brush again, dry it off, put my green paint away, and we get our pink. You know what the pink's for, right? We're going to paint our pig. So notice I have a little black spot on my pig. He may need a second coat to make that go away. Oh, nope, it looks like it's okay. But I'm just going to paint my whole pig pink. Now don't worry about his eyes right now. Okay, so you can go right over his eyes you can go over the whole thing with pink because we can bring back some of those details later okay and if you want to paint over his feet right now you can but you don't have to if you paint them pink and you want to bring them back to be black it'll work just fine it's easy to make things black if you've painted them other colors because black is a very strong pigment. Okay, so I'm just going to go up and around his shoulders and his back. I'm going to lean this back a little bit to get under his leg and his bum. Remember, we still have that tire we have to paint. Okay, but I'm going to flip him around. I'm going to paint his bum and his tail. I'm going to tip it to make sure I get underneath of his tail, around the side. Make sure you get in all of his little pig wrinkles. This pig has got some wrinkles all over him. Super cute. Okay. Pig is running over my paints. It's a little difficult to teach everyone how to paint three-dimensional objects because my hand always gets in the way of the camera. So if you guys are watching and think, oh my gosh, her hand's always in the way, you're right, and I'm sorry. It's just one of those things. I'd need like four cameras, one on each side, and I'd have to switch between all four while I did this. And I am not that skilled with technology yet, but I can learn, right? There, and there's a little bit left on his chest and his belly and the side of his arm. There. Okay, so just do a little double check, make sure that you got the whole pig. There's no missing spots. And then we're gonna go back and do some of these little details like this stack and his little eyes and his little hooves in the chair. So I'm gonna wash my paint brush off one more time. I'm gonna put the pink paint away. I'm gonna get the silver out next because this silver stack over here doesn't touch the pink. So I can paint this while the pink pig dries. So I'm gonna go around the base of it. I'm gonna go up both sides. Just like that. Okay, I'm gonna just turn my pig a little bit. Make sure I got, oh, see, good thing I checked. I missed some spots, okay, there. Okay, and I'm gonna wash that brush again. And I'm gonna pull out the black paint. And I'm going to do my little black details. So with these little black details, try to use as little paint on your brush as possible. That way, no little blobs could ruin what you've done so far. So I'm just going to paint in his little feet, little black piggy feet. 
and there's little hands, there's little hooves. And again, if you want to paint your pig purple, you can paint your pig purple. If you want to give them polka dots, give them polka dots. Don't feel like it has to look just like my pig. Okay. I'm gonna come over here. Paint his little feet on this side. Okay, I gotta go back around this side because I know I missed a spot over here. Okay, and then we gotta give him that seat, remember? little seat for his little piggy bum. This one has lots of detail, you see? I hope you had fun with this one. It's a little bit more challenging, but I thought you guys could master it. So I'm really excited to see how everyone's pigs turn out. Okay, now this is that chance where you can touch things up. So I've got some mistakes on my tires. So I'm going to touch up all my little mistakes with the black first. Okay, and you just kind of go back and start from the beginning. All right, so touch up any little black spots because it's definitely going to be, or it should be anyways, nice and dry for touch-ups. I'll come around right this side. I didn't do such a bad job on this side, but I got a little pink there. There we go. That cleans things up. Okay, and I always try to remind you guys, take your time. Take your time, okay? Don't rush. Oh. Okay, I'm really happy with the way the black looks on those tires now. And I'm gonna just touch up things. Okay, so just because we've covered everything with the white doesn't mean it's necessarily finished yet. It just means that we have to kind of touch things up. Now, you can go ahead and give your piggy some black eyes. And if you want to give your piggy other colored eyes, that's okay too. Now, this is one of those things where it's a good idea to let that dry really well and then touch up that pink again. Okay. So while that's drying, I'm going to get my red, and I'm going to touch up my red a little because I've made some mistakes with my red. And just keep doing this, just little touch-ups here and there until you're like, aha, my pig and the tractor it's riding is perfect. You don't want to do anything else to it. Okay. I definitely got some pink on there while I was painting my pig. That's okay. Okay, so just touch up wherever you need to touch up. And if your pig has scary eyes, like mine has scary eyes, just get a little bit of pink at the end. And just very carefully go around his eyes so that it doesn't look like he's crying black tears. There. He looks a little bit cuter than that. There! Look at that! And you have this, the world's cutest little piggy farmer. Okay, so I hope you have lots of fun creating your pig on a tractor. I hope you're um, going to join me for the fall. We're going to continue doing these barracks boxes. Um, so if you'd like to continue, make sure to sign up for September, November, Oh, October, we're gonna have Halloween too. Okay, so we've got some really fun projects in store for the fall, so if you wanna join us, sign up for the barracks boxes for the fall, and we'll have some more fun ceramic projects and some more painting projects. Okay, I'll see you with the next tutorial. Have fun, guys.